What's up guys? Today we're gonna install more race car parts. Ugh. Okay, in the last video we installed the 777 door straps and if you guys are keeping up with the channel at all, you guys know that I'm trying to build a GT3 inspired, track inspired Supra. We got the bucket seats, we got the KMP steering wheel, we got the roll cage installed, we got the crazy arrow in front, the canards, the splitter, we got the door straps, and finally, we're gonna be installing my favorite part ever. This, I've been so excited for, I've been saving up for this car part, and if any of you guys ever watched the beginning of my channels, the first thing I did was install these wind deflectors. Ah, and we're peeling them off today because we don't need them anymore. Dan's just hanging out back there next to the heater because it's cold outside. But the reason we don't need these anymore uh, is because we got the full EVS. I don't even know what they're called, but they're the EVS mirrors. Let me show you guys real quick. We've already unboxed it before, but oh. Voila! GT3 Supra, baby, is happening. But the reason we don't need those anymore is because they've actually built in the wind buffeting system the wind deflector, whatever this is, into the mirror itself. The reason why I've always wanted these, I knew I wanted to make a track inspired car and I'm going balls to the wall. And we're not going hard, we're not going at all. What? That's why we got these puppies. So all we have to do to remove them, it's actually super simple. There's only three bolts that are holding it in. So we're gonna go ahead and take off the door card. There's just gonna be three bolts. You unbolt it and you just bolt this back in. Super, super easy install. Ah, oh, it's cold. Chin, chin, chin. Dan, can you pass me that box? Remember to hold this thing up. Once you remove the door card, you're gonna be able to remove this little cover here. That's gonna be exposing the three bolts you need to remove. You're gonna disconnect your mirror, which is super easy. You just squeeze these two pins and pull right out. And we're not gonna need that anymore because we're not gonna have any mirror functions. You remember what size it was? I don't even think they're on tight. Okay. The mirror's not gonna fall off. Yeah, it got rubber. Did I lose it? Nope. Dang, got it. And then all you have to do is pull it off. Literally, the easy, one of the easiest installs you can do. How easy was that? Let's weigh them and compare it. Got like that. What's that? 12, 1280. We'll round out, say it's 1280. And in comparison, we're gonna be weighing this guy now. Holy crap, this weighs like nothing. Let's see how I can do this. 490. Three times heavier, pretty much. I don't know what that's in pounds. Did anybody know the conversions? Inside the mirror, you're actually gonna be taking this out. It's some like rubber, not, not really rubber. It's like foam, some foam thing. But you don't wanna stick it on here. You actually wanna put this in the door cart first. Oh, from the other side. <laughs> hey pal, you just blowing from stupid town? Let's see. Yeah, like that. And it's gonna seal that baby right up. And then when you slip it in, you actually want it to make sure it's between the, uh, the weather stripping to make sure it doesn't go anywhere. And you're just gonna put the three bolts in that are supplied. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> hey, no, 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 the washer's off, the washer's off. Hey, those clips make the best clips right there. Right, right here. Right where my thumb is. Give it a good ram. Yeah. Get that bottom one again. And we'll just tighten up the screen afterwards. That's on there. Dude, that looks so good. 
Whew. All right, after you're done, you're just gonna go ahead and put the door back on. I'm trying to slip through the hole. Okay, let's pop this button back on. What up, bro? Put this in the hole. Get on there first. Here you go. Punch it. On your side. Can I get the 10 millimeter wrench? Here. Oh, thank you, sir. Okay. And then we're just gonna lock this puppy back up. Oh. Oh yeah, there you go. Bro, I've been using manual focus this whole time. Uh-huh. So much better. Aha! Uh -huh. We're good. Damn bro, you scared the fuck out of me! Yeah, yeah we're good. It is. There you go. Damn! Yo, Jimmy, let me show him this right here. Shit. It definitely needs to get repositioned. But, dude, that's, this is how it looks. From Trevor. Whoa. That looks crazy. How's it look, Jimmy? Damn. <laughs> right Door straps, so sick. Oh my gosh. Holy, guys, I'm Batman. I'm fucking Batman. I'm Batman. That looks crazy. We need a big wing, y'all. We need a big wing. Dan doing the shakedown test as usual. Thumbs up if it passes. It looks really good. Jimmy's checking it out. All right, bro, you gotta adjust the shit. Can't see anything. Can't see shit on that thing, boy. There's a screw here that you loosen up that lets you swivel it how you want it. And then these screws, two on the top, two on the bottom, let you reposition the, the angle of the mirror. Okay, let's yeah. do it. Is it right there? Leave it like that. Yep. Dude, that's perfect. Yo, this is so cool, guys. I'm Batman. We got the mirrors all installed and adjusted to exactly how I like it. What do you guys think? I think this thing looks freaking insane. Dude, just look. It's just all the arrows just looking together and we just need the big wing from now on. Holy snap. Look at this. This shot right here alone is just so menacing. From this rear angle to holy snap, that mirror looks so sick with the arrow. Holy fuck, I'm geeking out, dude. This is too freaking good. We got the mirrors all installed and we're gonna go celebrate by getting some carne asada fries. Dan's apparently, he said he's gonna put us on, so don't let us down, Dan. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, these stepper things are super freaking cool. Did you know about that? Yeah. What the? Heck? <laughs> All right, when are we gonna surprise your dad with some TE37s on this thing? Soon, bro. I'm about to get some 57 CRs. Ooh. Hey, comment down below. We should take Dan's dad's car, throw some wheels on it, and see if he notices. Who likes these hot tamales? Oh, it's a whole new pack, these, bro. Oh, Oh, it's these. a fierce cinnamon, dude. Look at the actual size of horse pills. He says his dad always has a box in the car. <laughs> we made it. California burrito. Can I get three carne asada fries? Whoa. It's okay. He's not used to driving this big ass car. Yes, thank you. Thank you so much. Can we get a sneak peek, Jimmy? No. Oh, uh, we made it back. Time to eat some flies. Oh, oh, we deadlifted it today before we started all the installs in. My fucking back hurts. How's your back feeling, Dan? It's sore, bro. We were working on his deadlift form and we squatted the day before and we benched the day before. We've been getting at it. Dan says, California burrito, carne asada fries. Oh, what the fuck? Dude, that looks pretty freaking delicious. Ask for the extra sauce. 
Just finished. Probably gonna be on the toilet with all that cheese. All right, later, y'all. All right, man. Peace. Oh, your groceries you bought this morning? <laughs> okay, bye. All right, later. So that's gonna end the video. Thank you guys for watching this far into the video. I am absolutely in love with these EVS mirrors and the front, the, the whole car is coming together. Uh, one of my videos I had asked, what wing should I get? And everybody keeps saying Voltex Swan Neck. Voltex is so much, <laughs> but I think you might have a good point. The Voltex Swan Neck would look insane. <sighs> do I do it? I don't know. All right, that's it. Peace out. Thank you. Love you all. Bye.